Simmer Amanda and welcome back to my channel and welcome to the new update video. <laughs> so we, there was an update on Thursday I believe it was. I just now updated my game or wait I think it was Tuesday or I'm not I'm not sure it was it was sometime this week. I don't even know what day it is. I've been working a lot so it's been a lot but um I just now updated the game so it is now updated and I just wanted to read the update notes because we're getting something very exciting. And it's another scenario type thing, but it's like stories. And I don't know if anybody remembers, but I remember have, owning The Sims 2 Life Stories where it was like two stories that you would do and it was like, you know, you would progress and they would like give you stuff that you had to do to continue and it was really fun. So I'm hoping it's something similar to that. So right here it shows all the bug fixes. We're not going to go through all this because it'll take too long, but I'm just going to kind of read this. So, hello Simmers. Hope you are well wherever you are in the world. Sim Guru Frost is already listening to Christmas music. I don't know why, but I'm still holding off on playing it. I refuse and it is still November. I understand that with this update it is the last day of November, but it is still November everyone. Just saying. But regardless of how I feel about Christmas music being heard everywhere today and not later, the only thing I relish is the excitement that this season brings. It's the season we get together with family and cherish whatever time we have with our loved ones, even if only digitally. We have an exciting update for you as we introduce neighborhood stories, some tech additions, and a few small but eventful things we managed to get into this update. Thank you for your continued support and feedback, and remember, have fun. Koss, Simguru Ruski. So, this is what's new. So, introducing neighborhood stories. Um, I'm actually not going to read all this one because this is going to take too long. But basically, uh, what it does is uh, this feature is about adding flavor and more to life to neighborhood sims who live outside your active household. So, it'll be like they'll be more involved than just like showing up for like the welcome wagon or just showing up to your house randomly. So, to start, check out the new socials and friendly and mean categories. There's new socials, and you can convince others to make certain life changes and vice versa. So um, your Sims friends can ask their opinion on pursuing life changes. And then there's two new aspirations that complement the stories you will tell. The Neighborhood Confidante. And then um, it says, if your Sims aspire to be a helpful and positive presence in the lives of neighborhood Sims, they will be able to learn a new Confidente reward trait, which increases the chance of conversations being pleasant and not at all awkward. So you can, or you can be deviant, and the other aspiration is Villainous Valentine, and you want to destroy the love lives of all Sims, including your own. And then there is a new trait called Twisted Heart Trait, which makes all sad and embarrassed moodlets decay pa faster and provides a little bonus social when performing mean or mischief socials. They will be heartbreakers, dream breakers, and love takers. So, this is, uh, oh, the, the bug fixes are down here. Um, they added likes and dislikes for cottage core in the music category and for cross stitching and knitting in the activity sections. Um, that actually makes sense. I didn't even know those weren't on there, but that makes sense that they are. And they updated the erratic trait to something more fitting to the trait. That's funny. And then, um, you have added, they added in build mode through the looking glass window. Uh, it was seeing some of the industrial loft kit promotional art. Oh, it's for base game. So if you only have base game, you can do that too. And then, um... So yeah, more immersive experience with uh, Logitech, and yeah, because I just want to read that because it would take like forever. And then of course all the bug fixes are down here. Um, this is on the Sims 4 website if you want to like read the bug fixes and stuff. So, um, so yeah, we are going to get started here in a minute. Um, I'm just gonna like go into the game and see what it does. I'm not sure if I'm going to. Uh, start this because we are still working on the making money scenario and I kind of want to keep it th that way but maybe I will start this because I'm kind of excited for it and um I might just go to like a random household or create a couple random sims just to see like the new options and stuff that we get so yeah I will be right back into the game and we will see how everything goes so I just noticed this guy's right here is um 
about neighborhood stories, like check out Nate's blog. And I was kind of like reading it and I feel like this is like good information to like talk about because it explains it more than the actual update notes did. So, um, let me see. Just kind of see what I should talk about. So, so neighborhood stories are a set of gameplay moments that all revolve around a single purpose. Bring more life to neighbor sims that live outside the active household. Neighbor sims refers to the to most of the non-player characters, sims in the game, not just ones who live on the same street as your household. Neighbor sims exclude special NPCs such as the Grim Reaper. Okay. So, um... The first release focuses on sims connected to your household, co-workers they've gotten to know, friends they've met at the gym or library, maybe that one sim who welcomed them to the neighborhood with fruitcake, which seems, a, seems like a bold mood, but to each their own, I guess. So, the two things that, the two interactions you can do is trying to persuade them to choose a new career or tell them that you uh, want to have a baby either with them or I think I'm not sure if you can uh, if somebody you're talking to someone who's in a relationship with someone it's like your friend I don't know if like you want to convince them to like have a baby or something but and it also says future updates will build on this with more life changes for a wider range of sims find additional info in the what's next section near the end of this post but for now let's get a closer look at what's in this release so what that means is this isn't the full thing of what it's going to be it's going there's going to be stuff added to it which is why i am gonna um when i start gameplay i am gonna start a new let's play but i might wait a little bit and still do making money that way it's more interesting or I might just do it I don't know but it just tells you like what this is like I said I'm not gonna go through all of it or we'll be sitting here forever but I feel like I was reading some of this and this is a lot more informative than the actual update notes and it explains it a little bit more so so this is when um, neighborhood stories begins with gameplay divided between life changes that your sims can influence neighbor sims to consider things neighbor sims autonomously consider and some that fall into both categories whether they consider a life change autonomously or under influence from your sims neighbor sims ultimately decide to initiate life change themselves that means these changes happen without any need to switch to another household which i love i've always wanted something like this so and then so you and you can also choose how neighborhood stories affect your game so the two ways this happens are you direct one of your sims to influence a neighbor sim to consider a life change or a neighbor sim while autonomously considering a life change will always call one of your sims to ask for their input before taking any action you choose the outcome by directing your sim to say yes no or leaving it up to the neighbor sims to the side our intent is to empower you to decide if a life change makes sense in the story your sims are living out or to leave that decision up to your neighbor sim altogether remember these life changes actually happen so they won't occur instantly neighbor sims will keep your sim posted with updates which is so cool so I love this especially this is probably like amazing for console players just because they can't have mods or anything so I feel like this is gonna add so much more life to their game so now so this right here it, it said they'll consider these changes independently or you can try to convince them so change their current career to a different one or have a baby with their partner if they are in a relationship where either sim can become pregnant and then hang out with other sims to form or deepen friendly relationships i kind of want to say we had something similar to this before like to convince somebody to hang out with somebody but maybe it's like more um more in depth now so and i love this autonomous only life changes so they can try to get promoted in their current career if you try to convince them to do that and they will also accept a marriage proposal so if they already have a boyfriend or girlfriend of another sim neighbor sims will not autonomously get married for now so that means probably later they will end up getting married which i think that'd be cool if they like call you and they're like hey i'm getting married today like come to the wedding like i, I think i hope it's something like that because that'll be so cool so it's cool that you can like influence that so i'm assuming they'll call and ask you something like hey i think uh what's his name is gonna pop the question should i accept you know that's cool so that active sim influence life changes your sims can do these things to cause life changes for neighbor sims you can trash talk one sim to another which will greatly re greatly reduce the relationship between those two neighbor sims i think that was on here before though about trash talking but maybe it's like more serious now than before try to get two grown-up sims or two teen sims to form a romantic relationship try to convince a sim in a relationship to dump slash divorce their romantic partner encourage an unemployed neighbor sim to find a job 
So then obviously we have the new aspirations, but um, I'm going to go into those more with the gameplay. You know, and I, they kind of did talk about this in the notes. So some sims, they won't like consider life change. So like, so here is the things that should come up. Ask to whoever to pursue their dream job, discuss expanding the family, and then you can trash talk another sim or ask them to hook up. I thought that was on there before too, but this could have been from a mod and I'm just like not thinking about it really. And then um, you can convince them to break up with people too. I think that was um, not on there, but I don't know. Um, so then what's coming in the future. So it says in a future update, we will realize through that goal more broadly with the following life changes for all neighbor sims with or without relationships and active households. So that's nice too. Just because my sims don't know anyone in any particular household doesn't mean that sim isn't also changing. Gameplay settings to tune life changes neighbor sims can and cannot have. Controls are layered, allowing a mix and match of rules down to individual households. Neighborhood stories settings are on a per ba save base. And, you know, if you're familiar with Sims 3, we had um, story progression. I thought that was more in The Sims 2, but... So, both story progression and neighborhood stories allow Sims all over the game to experience life changes. And then there's two key differences. So, story progression is one giant system that can only be turned on or off, leaving many players feeling like they must choose between a chaotic world and a boring one. Neighborhood stories adds the rich gameplay settings I mentioned above, alleviating this issue while solving for the goal. You choose how neighborhood stories affects your game. Story progression can affect a wide range of factors in The Sims 3. At the start, neighborhood stories will have a much smaller range of life changes. This is because most of the work you are doing is now on the underlying systems that drive these changes. Plus the gameplay settings we just talked about that means better tools to create better gameplay. But first we have to do that work. So again, it's a lot. So this is really cool. So there's stuff like this too uh, that kind of says where it comes from. But like I said, I'm not going to go for it anymore because this is already too long. <laughs> but yeah, so you know, I'm going to link both of these down below in the comment section. So if you guys want to check it out, you can. And you can like read through the whole thing but i'm actually like really excited about this and i'm definitely going to be trying to do a let's play especially when they update it more so yeah so then we're going to go into gameplay and continue to test this out okay so we are now in the game i just got on here and this is the first thing right now rivals for the holidays it's turkey time but your sims got beat work it out now in a new scenario i keep forgetting my other scenarios being added because i'm doing the making money one which is taking forever so we might do this one too because i heard this one doesn't take that long kind of like the too many toddlers so we'll see and then okay of course we're not to disable so sims delivery express welcome to sims delivery express our new base game content drop system this system will be able to deliver short bursts of content without requiring a game update so everything will be done in the background you just need to restart after the downloads are completed and enjoy you can expect the following new build mode or create a sim content tiny game fixes those that don't need a game update to be delivered. In the future, we hope to maybe expand this list, but for now, we hope you enjoy every upcoming Sims delivery. To find out more, check out the settings for this system in the game options menu. So, that's cool. Um, so cool, thanks. And then, I'm gonna go here. So yeah, we have this. Oh, oh I have, it's available to start until January. So yeah, I'll probably do that one next, but that one will take a minute. We'll view that later. But, okay, I went ahead and um, enabled my mods and stuff and restarted the game. And now this is coming up and it says, change your lives, give life advice, good or bad, to neighbor sims in this new update. So, that just gave me an idea. Um, I'm going to go into a new game though real quick. Just to go over the new aspiration traits. Holy... So it's not like the scenarios, it looks like where you can add stuff, I don't think. So, where's the new one? Oh, that's new. Oh yeah, I don't know if you guys have base mentals, but this is new. Aspiring party planner, I didn't even know that. Um, where would this be at? Neighborhood Confidente, the sim wants to provide all manner of advice to be a positive influence in the lives of their neighbors. And then they have, of course, the greedy areas extra trait. Um, where would the other one be? This one would probably be under, um, 
deviants. Yes. And then villainous Valentine, the Sim wants to destroy the love lives of all Sims, including their own. And then, of course, they get the dastardly one. And then, for traits, let me see where that one We have erratic. Well, that's new. These Sims can talk to themselves in an sort of unpredictable fashion. I want to give someone that trait just to see what they do now because they added something, but they're not saying what. And then down here, where's the new one? There was like a new one, I thought, right? So I'm reading it again. It looks like that you get the twisted heart trait. I think it's something you get over time because it says, um, Sims that walk the deviant path were in the new Twisted Heart trait. So I thought like you could just like do it if like you did that you had that aspiration, but I guess not. So... Okay guys, that didn't work with the goth family like I had hoped. So I just I didn't feel like making any Sims right now. So I went on the gallery and got these two households, like they're two separate ones. So this is Hannah. Mackie and I gave her the villainous Valentine so I kind of like kept all their traits basically and I just like changed their aspirations I didn't even really look at all their outfits or anything but um I just did it this and they are um they are just roommates in this little house and then this is Marta and I gave her the neighborhood comp Dante one but it looks like you have to, like, be friends with somebody to influence them. So I'm going to have these two try interacting and see if that comes up. But she's going to be, like, the Hannah's going to be the evil one. But right now, let's just, like, talk. Niara. And see what happens. So ah, thank so you to the gallery, too. I also will uh, look later who it is. Um, like, who, like, did these two beautiful households and give them credit. Also. But right now, we're in game, so. But Un couple of shoe. Next. Russia. Zonas, Buna, Buna Vush, Wabarani Bayou. I feel like Hannah is gonna destroy Marta. Because <laughs> yes. she's like that kind of person oh, yeah. who like pretends to be Buna. your friend, it looks like, but then she's gonna like Fina. change you. And also Marta was actually a teen. So I actually made her a young adult and I gave her the erratic trait just to see what would happen. <laughs> so I just want them to kind of like be friends and then see if something comes <laughs> up. Goblet Sharky. Oh, Zombo. What is that? Huh. Ah, uh, Vula Shaka Teeps. Lizarak. Siglona. Oh, Avina. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Gibbs. Hmm. Quaiba Vimps Ziffle. Yalig. Moobna. Can come on, Are they friends yet? That is her friend, so why is it not on there? And then what is this? Talk to self? That's funny, I'm keeping that. No. And can she do anything mean yet? Because I know that's like her friend, but I feel like she should be able to like do something. Like I said, she's gonna be like that terrible friend you can tell. Oh, Pimpini. Okay, so now there's here's our neighbor, so let's talk to them. Oh, to the neighborhood. I'm definitely gonna make her start some drama. Shabini. Wound fiction. Okay, come on, y'all. Wixinia. Conqueroo Bima. Winox. So, let's start talking to more people. Narfa. Fazu whiffed in a bay. Hit a rude Josafa. Turnia his boy. And then let us. Greet new neighbor. I'll go to Brogy. And the Zook eats. Mostly great, these people. Thanks for coming. Maybe got a chance to chat. There's gotta be like something on here that like does this. Gushal, Tribnathenis, Yalig, Mubna. 
Because maybe if you know more people, it works. So I kind of like made everybody like be like acquainted with each other in some way or somehow oh, yes. just to see if something like happens. You know? <laughs> yeah, fruits. Bon and gravy. So now something should come up. Okay, discuss expanding the family. I have never seen that. So let's oh, see yes. what that what happens with that. Zoya. Genseba. Isabel. Oh, God. As wonderful as that sounds, I'm not in a position where I feel comfortable doing that at the moment. I didn't give them even lover stuff either, so maybe she just actually secretly likes him. But okay, that's new. So, um, ask Jamie to pursue their dream job. Marta should find out what Jamie's current career is before asking this question. So, like, let's ask the about career. Overall, he had a he is unemployed, so now let's do this. Um, ask Jamie to pursue their dream job. Salute for Jubsa Ilofi. He was the door. Jeeps. Interesting idea, Marta. I've been pondering what would give the most satisfaction in my work life. I'll let you know what I decide soon. Okay, so this is going to just be like progression stuff so i'm not going to be able to do everything right now but i'm just kind of looking i think that's the only two new things except for like the mean ones i believe um, so that's nice too uh, and let's see if there's anything like mean that can come up right here so i just made them lovers nothing like too crazy it's the same thing Expanding the family. So then, let's go to mean trash and other sim. <laughs> you could do that to like your friend, but I think that's already been there. So okay, so. I think those are the only two new things, but look at see successfully advised and influence the lives of other Sims. Act, achieve X status to other Sims. Can I like ask him to be my boyfriend? Singula Yamishka. Brisham. You should or no yeah. Oh whoops. But. Ah. <laughs> 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 she like out really by herself? Okay, guys. So I think this is gonna be like a story progression. Um, I kind of like cheated my way to get them to where they are, but I feel like that's kind of a good thing. So, for the actual, like, story progression, so I'm not sure how this exactly works, but I don't want this to be too long, but we kind of just seen how everything will work. So let me know in the comments if you would like me to take a break from making money and do this, and I might anyway, or just go back and forth, because I'm really kind of liking this already, and I want to see where it goes, but I'm not sure where it will go. And I'm probably just going to keep these two sims, because I like them. I do. Like, they're cute and everything else. So, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And, uh, yeah, let me know in the comments so I know, you know, because if you want me to, if you don't want me to, I probably will wait it. But at some point, I am going to do it. So, yeah, I post new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So, be on the lookout for those. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.